Uh, and so we're just going to talk about a few uh, things that caused LED lighting to fail. A lot of times people buy bulbs and they think that yeah, they're bad bulbs or you know manufacturer made cheap bulbs or whatever the case may be but uh, the truth is LED lighting is very susceptible uh, to a number of things they're not as uh, hardy as traditional incandescent bulbs so if you're using LED lighting um, if you're using LED lighting um, keep in mind that LED is susceptible to extreme temperatures. That means very high temperatures, very low temperatures. Uh, in other words, you won't see an LED type bulb made for appliances, uh, you know, ovens and refrigerators, that type of thing. Uh, also, LED lighting is very susceptible uh, to vibration and movement. So you wouldn't use LED lighting anywhere near like a motor or like an air conditioner, something that's vibrating a lot. Uh, and also LED lighting is susceptible uh, to moisture. Now, uh, if you just buy any um, off-the-shelf LED bulb or fixture and put it like in your bathroom, for example, uh, you'd see that the that lamp or fixture wouldn't last very long. Uh, however, nowadays you can find fixtures and lamps that are wet rated. So if you're gonna use LED in the bathroom or even outside, keep in mind that you wanna find a wet location rated uh, bulb or fixture because LED is not, it doesn't do well. Uh, in moisture so just keep in mind it's basically like a little computer with a lot of electronics in there so and one other thing about uh, LED lighting is that uh, LED lighting is and this actually goes for CFL or fluorescent lighting but uh, LED lighting is very susceptible to voltage fluctuations or voltage that is not correct uh, in other words if you have like an open neutral uh, this will damage the LED bulb whereas with an incandescent bulb um, it doesn't necessarily damage the bulb. Um, and also if you use the wrong type of sensor, occupancy sensor, vacancy sensor, dimmers, this type of photo cells, motion sensors, if you don't use one that's made for uh, an LED bulb or fixture, it will damage the bulb and shorten the life of the bulb uh, because the LED does need to see 120 volts. So keep that in mind. Uh, that's about it. Just keep that in mind when you're using LED lighting that they are susceptible to a number of things. Uh, so you have to, uh, you know, use them in the right locations. But anyway, that's today's tip of the day.